Hello nerdites and geeklings. So today's video is not going to be a very happy one. Uh, the retro gaming community in Canada took a massive hit the other day. On Monday, June the 11th, Sid Bolton unfortunately passed away. For those of you who don't know who he is, he was a very, very amazing man who was quoted to have had the largest video game collection in all of Canada. On Slice TV, they do a show about these awesome collectors, and he was featured in one of the episodes, and in that episode, they mentioned that his collection is worth approximately $650,000. So that is incredible, in my opinion. He has approximately 15,000 games in that collection. In his time, he also put together a personal computer museum. And he was, you know, featuring that, showing it off to people. Uh, I'm going to hopefully share a small clip in this video of what that museum looked like. And let's get into the video. Welcome back guys. Now, Sid Bolton, the amazing individual that he was, was always sharing his collection with many people. Uh, if you were to do a search online, you would find many articles and videos where he's literally taking people through his museum, basically his personal collection of 15,000 games. So I was lucky enough to be able to get some clips to share with you guys of a video that was done about a year ago. Uh, Robin Danju, the Geek Taco uh, organizer of the Game X. It's going to be on June 24th in Mississauga. Uh, I do recommend checking that out. I will be there and I'll be doing a video about that event. Uh, he was willing to share with me the video he made when he went through the museum. So I'm going to share a couple of clips with you guys from that video. So here we go. Enjoy. Good, good. How are you? You want to come and see some games? Yes. All right, let's go take a look. One thing that, uh, that some people that don't know is that uh, you actually have the largest video game collection in Canada. Yes. So the CBC a number of years ago made that statement based upon research that they had done. And I went ahead with it, not because I wanted to say, hey, look at me, I've got all these video games, but uh, mostly because I want to help market the personal computer museum. So uh, I do run a not-for-profit and also my goal is not to just have these games and hoard them. My goal is always to educate people about video games, share the hobby that so many of us love, and of course collecting as well. So you're a big fan of the Dragon Lair series? Yes. And you were giving me a little bit of more information that you've been uh, titled the Chief Preservation Officer? Sort of started working with them and they said, you know, like any video game company, we tend to forget about what we worked on last and we're focusing on what we're working on now. And this is typical of the industry. And they're like, we don't want to lose some of this stuff, so why don't we just let you hang on? Some of their, you know, prototype stuff and source code and things like that that are for machines they don't have anymore, they're like, you know what, you hang on to it because at least someone will be able to keep that history. Okay, so uh, last time I was here, I remember you showing this, I think you have like a, a Dragon's Lair Shrine set up. Yeah. So can we go check that out? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Let's go take a look. Welcome back guys, I hope you enjoyed those clips I just shared with you. Thanks again to Robin for making those available to me. As you could see, Sid Bolton was a super friendly guy, easy to talk to, and very knowledgeable on his stuff. Not only will he be missed by the video game community, but he was also a very active member of his local community in Brantford. At the Kitchener Museum, it was part of a major exhibit where he featured a lot of his computers for everyone to see. And also over the years, he's been a major part of doing giveaways for people who are less fortunate to make sure they can get computers that they would not normally be able to afford. Sid was also a volunteer for Rogers as early as 1988, helped develop a lot of the software they use at the station, and for many years, co-hosted the Santa Claus Parade local to his community. So all in all, Sid Bolton was a fantastic man, well loved by many. He's survived currently by his wife, Jen, and they're doing a celebration of life in, I believe it's sometime in July. Uh, in the description, I'm going to be linking a article from, I believe it is 
the Branford Expositor. There's lots of details about Sid, his life. I definitely recommend giving it a read. And there's also some information in that article about where the family would like people to donate if they would like to do so. Uh, so again, Sid was an amazing man. He's going to be missed by the video game community at large, as well as his local community. So this video is just kind of a bit of an ode to him from the video game community side of things. I hope you guys enjoyed watching the clips that I shared with you. Make sure that if you are a fan of nerd and geek culture, you do subscribe. And make sure you ding the bell so that you get notified when I do drop new content. Thank you so much for watching today, guys, and we'll catch you next time. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I, can, I can carry on these pretty well. Uh, this is not my first time on the rodeo. So. It is mine. <laughs> <laughs> you might have to be carrying me. Am I dead? Dead. That's so quick. I know.